Hi guys, Victoria Husit here with VK Consulting. And today let's talk about student loan forgiveness. It's a great news that President Biden announced that federal student loans will be forgiven. And today let's break it down between how much can be forgiven, what your income requirements should be, and if you live in a state that will tax these forgiven loans. So to start, you should have federal student loans, the ones that you're paying for your education in order to be forgiven. So obviously, if you don't have any student loans, this video is not for you to watch because nothing will be forgiven. The amount that will be forgiven is uh, up to $10,000. However, if you have a Pell Grant, you can have up to $20,000 forgiven. Now, let's think about it this way. What is up to means? It means that if you have $30,000 of your loans, you can have 10 or 20,000 forgiven depending what type of a loan you have. But if you have only $5,000 remaining in a loan, your $5,000 will be forgiven. You cannot get a refund for another $5,000. So basically what you owe up to 10,000 or up to 20,000 can be forgiven. Interesting fact is that right now we are in a period of pause student loan payments from March 2020 and uh, this past period is going to expire December 31st, 2022. What it means that you did not have to make a regularly monthly scheduled payments for your loan. However, if you were making them and now you below your threshold, meaning your loan is below 10,000 or below 20,000, you can actually contact your loan service provider, request a refund for the payments you made during a COVID period, during this past period, and uh, have up to $10,000 forgiven. So let's just, again, make an example. As of right now, your loan amount outstanding is, let's just say, $7,000. Let's just say over the last two years, you were making monthly payments and you made $2,000 payments in payments, right? So you can call your loan service provider. You can request $2,000 back as a refund. And now your loan is $9,000. Seven plus $2,000 that you paid during COVID. So $9,000. So now you can request your $9,000 to be forgiven versus $7,000 for you. But again, that's only for people who were making payments during this past period. Who is eligible, right? We already talked about that you need to have a federal student loan. And if you have Pell Grants, you can get up to $20,000 for given. So $10,000 for the regular federal loans plus $10,000 additional for a Pell Grant. Now, what about your income? So if you're a single individual, meaning you're filing your tax return as single, your income has to be less than $125,000 a year. If you are a married couple, it's two of you, your income has to be below $250,000 to get qualified for uh, the student loan forgiveness. And if, obviously, if you're a married couple and both of you have student loans, both of you can apply. Or if only one of you have student loans, only one can apply. And what income you can use? You can use either your 2020 or 2021 uh, taxable income, the ones that on your tax return. I should say that right now, this is just preliminary information and the more information will come out when you as a student actually can apply. An anticipated day for applying is early October of 2022. 
So as of right now, this is just information that's floating all over um, internet. I'm just summarizing it for you. Once early October comes and you are able to apply, you have to apply. Your loans will not be just forgiven. You have to tell government that you want your loan to be forgiven. And you have to provide uh, income paperwork supporting that you are eligible uh, for the student loans to be forgiven. Once it's time to apply, remember that past periods end on December 31st, 2022. And application approximately gonna take to be processed four to six weeks. So if you, there is no deadline to apply. You can apply in 2023, you know, in January, February, whenever. There is, as of right now, there is no deadline to apply. However, if you want your application to be processed before or actually on the date when the past period end for the payments, you need to apply before November 15. So you will have from early October to November 15 to apply to actually meet the uh, deadline for when the payment's gonna start uh, being required again. So since we covered all this information, now let's talk about is this income taxable? Usually by federal laws, any income that been canceled or given is a taxable income, meaning that you need to report it on your tax return and pay tax on it. What's uh, government proposing for student loan forgiveness that anything that been forgiven during 2021 to 2025 will be a non-taxable income on a federal level. Meaning is when you know when you file any tax return and you have your federal, the one that you send into IRS and your state, this income on a federal return that goes to IRS will be non-taxable. Now let's talk about states. States are very different uh, conversation. Not every state's confirm, meaning follows federal changes. Some states follow it to 100%, and some states pick and choose what they want to follow. So out of states that do not confirm, do not follow the federal rules, there is six states that already announced that they will agree with the federal uh, laws. And this student loan forgiveness cancellation, that will be not taxable in those states. And those states are New York, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, Virginia, Hawaii, and Idaho. So these six states already announced that student debt cancellation will be not taxable in those states. As of right now, four states announced that they will tax student loan debt cancellation. And those states are Arkansas, Minnesota, North Carolina, and Wisconsin. So again, those four states will tax your student debt cancellation, meaning what's going to happen that on your tax return, you will have to include that $10,000 as your income and pay percentage depending on your states, what bracket you in become, you will pay um, approximately whatever the percentage tax for your state. For more information about student loan forgiveness and to sign up for updates and to receive email when you actually can apply if you want for student debt forgiveness, you can go to www.studentaid.gov. And this uh, website has information about Again, who's eligible, how much you can get forgiven. You can sign up, as I said, receive email and notification when you can apply. And once you can apply, probably you shouldn't go in the first couple of days because that website probably is going to be crashing because people are going to rush in to 
apply. But again, as I said, there is no deadline to applying for student loan forgiveness. So you can do it at any point. You don't need to do it within first two hours because otherwise your application is going to be denied. And I just anticipate that when you go in the first couple hours, website will be just not accessible because everybody is going to rush in and try to do it. In any case, I wish you good luck. Whatever is your decision going to be, either you will apply or you will not apply. Uh, do your research, especially for states that will tax your income. I would say consult with your tax professional run your mock tax return, see if it's worth it for you, see how much tax increase in your taxes you're going to have to report the $10,000. Again, if it's uh, worse for you, because you will lose your interest, uh, student loan interest deductions, the ones that you do have on your tax return, as well when you make any payments, there is a lot of factors involved. Uh, so please, again, talk to your tax professional, especially for the states where you will pay tax on it, and then make educated decision. Good luck. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe.